It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. And uh, Josh Arnold is back from his fishing trip to bring back a nice uh, cooler full of frozen fish. I did, yeah. Left it in your bed to warm. <laughs> I have news. Jump. Okay, go ahead. What do you got over there? Good morning, people. I listen to your show every morning while working from home. Uh, I wanted to let you all know about Gizzard Fest. Oh. Here in Potterville, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> it's next Potterville. weekend, June 11 and 12, coming back by popular demand after not being held for the last several years. You may recall that Guy Fieri once came to town just a few years ago to our local hotspot to claim to fame, Joe's Gizzard City. Are gizzards different than livers? I think they yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Although, yeah. I'm sure we could. It's not they are hard to... Okay. Make a liver out of a I'm, gizzard. I, I don't. I mean, do you, how does one? Well, I'll look up deep the fried, recipe. deep fried chicken gizzard. I used to get uh, at KFC. Used to get back in the day. Yep. Gizzards and lizards. Yep. Right. Yeah. Livers. 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 Yeah. Livers. Livers. Yeah. yeah. yeah Givers and lizards. I'm sure the the lizards. The uh, they were extra. They came in different colors. In fact, the, the whatever color your table <laughs> was, the the lizard would turn oh, that color before yeah, you ate it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you something. That stuff that they have at Kentucky Fried Chicken is so good. Yeah. You put it on a lizard, I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Remember the ill fated Dairy Queen Gizzard Blizzard? Yeah, that did the last thing. Not too popular. A tail sticking out of each and every. Here we go. That was um, a lizard the Gizzard. Uh, the dictionary says a muscular, thick walled part of the bird's stomach for grinding food, typically with grit. Ugh. Uh, right. Helps it digest. Yeah, I, I know when the, when I make turkey every Thanksgiving, I always take the gizzards and uh, boil them up, cut them up, and give them to the dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Humans do not have gizzards. We don't? No. Our digestive. Oh. No, we have, yeah. Stomachs and such. That's yeah. why they eat rocks. Chickens eat rocks. Help them all birds do, yeah. Chew up their food. Yeah. That's a good name, though. Gizzard? Gizzard. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you got your cousin. My cousin Gizzard. <laughs> He's up to the plant working yep. today. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and now, by the way, Tom, uh, the Tony Orlando Airport, they're only allowed to fly out at dawn. Yeah, oh. we did that joke. Yeah, we, we did. did. Yeah. yeah, both uh, Pat, Pat and I did. Yeah. I've got oh. to pay attention. You gotta... <laughs> Those two talk, I turn my yeah, ear we talking <laughs> about. Sorry. We were talking about st stolen street signs because uh, Kostaki was going to steal his girlfriend's name and signs. Yes, mm -hmm. for her birthday. Fortunately, her name wasn't Stop, as <laughs> causing a fatal collision. <laughs> um, here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, there is a neighborhood called the Planets. Every street is named after planets in our solar system. Oh, that's cool. Yes, there is Uranus Avenue. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Writes Chris. I uh, we're it's... going to rock down to <laughs> Uranus <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> that's silly, man. Then we'll take, we'll take you deeper. <laughs> <laughs> In my hometown, in Texas, <laughs> uh, there is a street corner. The sign kept getting stolen, so they started painting it on the curb. The name of the corner, 69th and Banger. <laughs> yeah! Wow. Nice. Yeah, you know what a 69 is, Jess? Yeah, I do. Very familiar. Uh, Thanks. Uh, oh, oh, wow. oh, wow. Sounds like she's intimately familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's number 470. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, no, she yep. listens no. to the show. Yeah, I know your description. No multitasking yeah. for this guy. <laughs> okay, um, talking about street signs that get stolen. In Westchester, Ohio, there's an intersection of Grin Road and... B A R R E T T is Barrett that Road. right? They did that on purpose. Yeah, for they sure. did. Grin and did. Barrett Road. I love That's it. Funny. There is also in Springboro, Ohio, a street named Sharts. Sharts. <laughs> Come on down to Sharts. <laughs> yeah, oh, you love it. That sound like, that sound like an old-fashioned appliance store. <laughs> You'll save more at Sharts. No one can beat our prices at Sharts. Oh, run to Sharts. <laughs> You'll shart yourself when you see our prices. Uh, well, now it seems like they're in on it. <laughs> What's that smell? Sharts. <laughs> uh, Christy, uh, I was going to say good sales. Oh, uh, the little hey, your underwear has freckles. <laughs> oh, that he, is. Lo he loves that concept. It's very what? funny. Always Does your underwear have freckles or are you just happy to shorts? <laughs> I'm sorry, Christy, back to you. 
These you ever, are... Have you ever sharted, Christy? No. Yes, you have. No, what I haven't. If you, if you shart in a thong, does it go both sides? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, Arnold. Have you laughed so hard, you pee? I have done that. Is it like I when you put your finger over day. a hose? Well, well, not lately. Could we I, I did it lately when news? Pat made a mistake last week. you pee when you sneeze? I, yeah. No, I don't pee when I sneeze. Just when I laugh really hard. The so-called Little Debbie Bandits are back. Do you crap yourself when you get up out of bed? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, could, could you just shush? <laughs> I'm sorry, Christy. Go ahead. Uh, the pair of Little Debbie Snack Cake Bandits have struck the town of Poplar Bluff, Missouri once again. Okay, this isn't funny. Two suspects broke into a storage unit locker and stole boxes of the snack cakes. Mm -hmm. According to KFVC, KFVS... I don't know. We, we, news we guess, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the incident in this is the second time this year that thieves have targeted the storage unit. On New Year's Day, Poplar Bluff police reported that two snack cake bandits were caught on camera stealing 20 cases of Little Debbie snack cakes from a storage unit on Westmore Drive. I have a question. Why are there Little Debbies in a storage unit? I love this joke. <laughs> I, I guess the distributor needs the space, so they've got them. They don't have a warehouse? I don't know how that works, but huh. um, these guys seem to know where the where they're stored. Obviously. Yeah. So this must be part of an inside job. Right. Yeah. It'd be embarrassing to get caught and go to prison for this. What are you in for? Ho-hos and ding-dongs. What are you in for? <laughs> well, I got a ding-dong for you. Oh. You're now my ho-ho. Oh, yeah. no. And this is my ding-dong. <laughs> yeah. Although I, I actually call it King Dong, you know, like King Kong, the big. You know, those gorilla. were King. <laughs> the, 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 the square hockey pucks were called King Dons when they first came out. Were they really? And then they went to Ding Dong. Look it up. Is that right? Yep. Oh. Here are the top twenty. You know how many? How many little Debbie snacks cakes do you think there are? How many uh, are there? 30, uh, I'm going to tell you. You got to guess first. Uh, uh, Twenty-six, right? Uh, Thirty-five. There's eight. Twenty-one. Uh, Whoa! Mm. Wow. Uh, I know two. I win. <laughs> banana marshmallow cream. What? Never even seen that. Oh, yeah, that's a new. I just saw yeah. that, actually. Fudge dip strawberry cakes. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you, good. Cookies and cream cakes, fudge dip banana rolls. <laughs> Right, Get to the real one, anybody like Star know? Crunch. Yeah. Red Velvet, one. Red Star Velvet Crunch. Cakes. Oh, they're the best. Oh, Pecan crunch. Spin crunch. Wheels. Uh, now, um, number 15, the Zebra Cake. Okay, so, uh, mm, we don't need zebra. to hear them all. I'm <laughs> What's sure. the peanut butter one? The, yeah, we'll never know. Nutty we'll peanut are. butter. <laughs> Debbie. Nutty no, Bar? Not nutty Bar. There's another one that, oh. is, that looks like uh, a candy bar. Is that the one you're talking about? I like the Nutty Bars, yeah. I think, that look like okay. big Twix. Or this list is wrong because oatmeal cream pie is 14. There's no way. Oh, my God. That's got to be top five. That's got to be top five. We always have oatmeal. Cream pies you like in our those, house. Tom? Always. You like an oatmeal cream pie, Debbie? Cake? Answer us. I've never had one, frankly. <laughs> they have it in what? cereal yeah. form now. What? You're not a person. You've never had an oatmeal cream pie? I don't eat um, off the rack cake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I see. All your cakes you are gave me an off the rack cake for my birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm, glad. I'm glad you let that you know? go, Pat. Oh. <laughs> Just getting over it now. No, no, I enjoy a cake from a bakery. I don't like the plastic ones. Okay, the top Kroger. five the Little Debbie cakes. cakes. Top five. Number five, salted caramel cookie bar. Uh, number four, crunch donuts. No. Oh, yes. Those are delicious. Those are pretty good. Number three, apple fruit pie. Number two, the Swiss roll. And number one, the Nutty Buddies. Nutty Buddies. Nutty Buddies. Yeah. yeah. Nutty uh, Buddy. Those are Buddies. <laughs> buddies. <laughs> I would buddies. eat those every day uh, for lunch. Now, aren't you, are you butt buddies? Are you guys nutty buddies, too? Yeah, we are. Oh, we, yeah. we get nuts. No, yeah. No, no. We'll press our nuts up against each other. Uh, yeah. No, I'll no. put my nuts up against anybody. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. No. Could we move on? Um, oh my God. So we have the Little Thank Debbie you. Snack Cake Bandits. I like the fact that they've got a name. I wonder if this is like a Robin Hood thing, if they're distributing them to poor oh, kids. That poor children, yeah. yeah. Steal from the rich, give to the fat. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> <laughs> you have a song, Pat? What do you uh, I do. Does Josh go in the song or not? What do you What do you think? Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Debbie, where'd you go? Someone stole you. Now I know my heart is broken. Give back my snack cakes. Please, snack cakes, please, snack cakes, please. <laughs> Chocolate cupcakes, devil creams, the stuff of kids and Josh's dreams. Catch those burglars, bring little Debbie back to me. Officer, please, officer, please. <laughs> 
tribute to Brian Wilson <laughs> and Little Debbie Snack Cakes. Thank you very much. <laughs> the palette. Trying to move forward here. Chick McGee has a letter. Yep, correct. What's going on over there? Let's. Uh, by the way, there's uh, Ace Chick, Josh. I'm Tom Willie, Patty G. We got to get a song out of you, Pat. All right. And there's Christy Lee. Hi. Yes. What's going on? Dear Knuckleheads. That's us. Here are my top three reasons why I would like to meet Tom in a dark alley. Okay. <laughs> or any alley, for that matter. Yeah. Number one. Um, number three, actually. Let's count them down. To ask why he, of all people, is in a dark alley. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's a Number good. two, to see if he compliments my wife's bangs like he does to Christie's every <laughs> single day. All right. And I number said, one. They, 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 do, they do look nice. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I like that kind of subtle thing on the western side where it looks sort of chewed off. The western side? And the <laughs> chewed off. I mean, oh, wait, take your pick of the weirdo term he used. The there. number one reason Tom wants to meet... Tom in a dark alley. Yeah. That's Tom from Wisconsin. To purposely make it look like I inadvertently bumped into him so he can rip his shirt off and ask me, You want to do this, bro? <laughs> you want to do this, bro? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> We're going to do this, bro? Uh, by the way, I obviously, I'm really enjoying the new you want to do this bro phrase. Okay. Keep it up. Tom from uh, Wisconsin. Uh, coming up, uh, I believe we're going to uh, bro it up with Kostaki Konomopoulos with some NFL talk. Oh, my mm. Lord in heaven. Uh, how are we? Out of the booby hatch, is he? Yep. Oh, after last week's debacle. Possibly some uh, dream he had about an ice cream man yeah. at some point. Hell yes. Okay, yeah. No. But I have a question. Yeah. What color was that shirt before? I had to switch shirts. I know, but I mean, did it start out as a different color? Because I've never seen that color in... I am probably washed it with bleach. I don't think it was right. black. It's kind of a nice blue. It had to start out as dark navy. It, it had, had to. No idea. Don't you think? I would call it marina blue. Yeah. <laughs> Over the weekend, I I've found never seen you wear my, that color. My washing machine has an extra hot setting. Oh, oh wow. Look out. Above sanitary? Look out, color. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. found that out. Boy, oh boy. Why don't you wear like Imagine. all white stuff? Yeah. Is that your goal? Yeah, go linen. Like a linen, linen. Oh, all white wrinkles. linen. Could we move on? <laughs> what else is going I'd love on? To, I honestly would love to have a linen suit at some point. Oh, you can get one. They get all crinkly. So? They, they're they comfortable. Know, but they look really, so cool in the summer. Really Do you have linen sheets? What are you, Tom Wolf? Just <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Just wear, just wear your clothes. Okay? I think Stop the most famous is, is, is it the most famous linen suit at the end of uh, Silence of the Lambs. That's one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like a good linen. I'm having suit. a, a friend of, for dinner. Good linen suits and dirty rotten scoundrels. Who doesn't like linen in the summer? It's beautiful. Right? I got a picture wrinkles. of you wearing a linen shirt. We were, in, we're on vacation. You got a white linen shirt on. Look very casual. Very there cool. You go. Oh. Wow. Remember the salmon shirt you used to wear all the time? Oh, Man, I miss that fish. Shirt. This, that's I'm it. wearing my salmon shirts. Yeah, you are. Shirts. Look at those. Look at huh? that. Oh, those are nice. Ooh, they are nice. Whoa. No, Whoa. Those, those <laughs> salmon shirt had a pad. It's almost showtime for Christy. It had Whoa. drawings of salmon on it. Oh, yeah. yours actually did have yeah, oh, yeah. salmon on it. Could we okay. move but they, they were salmon color, but they were I, big salmon. Mine smell like salmon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, if you, go, if you go fishing for salmon, are you going to have some salmon to eat? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, I would do if I were fishing for salmon. Speaking of smelling. Okay. Some drug-sniffing dogs are being forced into early retirement Aww. due to... Drug addiction? Marijuana legalization. Oh. That's right. As Virginia prepares to legalize adult possession of up to an ounce of marijuana July 1st, it is following a trend in other states where legalization has led to canines retiring earlier than planned. I see a dog in a recliner smoking a cigarette <laughs> being interviewed by why he lost his job. Yep. And him t saying, yeah, well, this is damn technology, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the best marijuana pot sniffers out there. But no, it's anyway. their loss, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah. It's their loss. Yeah. I was the best, I baby. just see, I just see. <laughs> Some, <laughs> some stoner it, it, trying to acquire one of these dogs. Hey, man, I, I lost my stash, and then I had Rover go look for it, and he found it in half an hour. <laughs> that would be a great idea. Yeah. Someone should start that company. What Say, happened hey. to all those industries? Uh, well, it, there's a... Con, uh, Company that makes a container that's smell proof? Uh, it says it's smell proof. I, I, I would say, yeah, yeah, everything that's smell proof is smell proof with it, the, the big It looks like a little yeah. uh, decanter or whatever with a screw top, and you put your pot in there, your weed, your tree, and then your you velociraptor screw, eggs. You <laughs> screw, screws it up, and you can't, you can't smell it. Mm -hmm. No yes. matter how sticky it is. I, I, this does is does the peanut butter thing work? 
Were you? Uh, I've heard the peanut butter. I've heard people. What's the peanut butter? Right, what's the you peanut take butter? a fresh jar of peanut butter and you kind of core out the middle and put the pot in there and then bury it in the peanut butter. And then what is that? <laughs> are you planning on being raided? I've heard Josh. A lot of folks, if they're sneaking it into a music festival or something, yeah. that's the way they'll do it. It's smell okay. proof. You can't see it. Uh, but I, I, people have all sorts of. What the security methods. guards go? Uh, Why? Yeah, peanut, totally butter normal, you're peanut, peanut butter, butter again. Yes. Oh, peanut butter is great to have at a festival. Making PB and J's in the morning. You kidding me? Oh, yeah. oh I see. Not a, okay. Big loaf of bread. Oh, yeah. Man. But in high school, we used to do the. You put it in one bag, then another bag, and then you put that bag in a jar, and you put dryer sheets in the jar, seal it up. Wow. And then your pot takes <laughs> this the dryer was your sheets. child, Tom, going wow. to school. It's got to be hard to put in the anus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, they, they, oh, you call, they call it Jif, but <laughs> it didn't go up there in a Jiffy. This is kind of interesting, actually, getting back on the subject. Dogs. Once trained on multiple drugs, the dogs are unable to distinguish between the presence of legal marijuana or an illicit, illicit drug. Okay. So as a result, Virginia State Police are retiring 13 dogs, while many smaller police departments and sheriff's offices are retiring one or two dogs. Most are in the process of purchasing and training new dogs to detect only illicit drugs, including cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine. That's what they told us. We got a raw deal. Uh, so these most are the of the dogs actually get adopted by their handlers, which makes sense. You've been with them all this, yeah. all these years anyway. These are the marijuana dogs. Yes. Good boy, narc. Good, good, good boy. But he's a narc. <laughs> oh, those are... <laughs> bark, bark narc. Uh, bark narc? Yeah, I was a bark narc for bark about 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call it. They just, I'm surprised they don't take the dogs and send them to states that are less enlightened about uh, the situation. Put hundreds of men Probably away. Well, yeah. I mean, there's still what? Heck, well, how many? What is it? Marijuana legal in what? A third of the country yeah, or something? I've been traded to Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in mean, Delaware. Go. Come on, Delaware. This is what Virginia. Yes. Well, I'm a ham supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> If it ain't a Virginia ham, it ain't allowed here. I'm just telling you. Okay. Just call so silly. That's yeah. just silly. Can you smell your ham there, son? <laughs> oh. All right. Yep, that's good ham. Good hey, you, you boy with all the peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> and where's the Black Forest, by the way? Huh, where all the ham comes yeah. from? Yeah. No it's idea. A, it's in uh, southeastern Virginia. Is it? You've never been to Black Forest? I've never. Ham trees. As, <laughs> as the eye can see. They're, they're thick and rich. Oh, lovely. Uh, black ham trees. Ham trees. And ham trees. trees. And ham trees. <laughs> they have to sh And the, the hams don't. They have to uh, start, to what? The hams don't to become to ripe to like. 15, the, 20 feet exactly. up the tree. Exactly. The Black Forest is, is it, in Germany, it's isn't in it? in Europe. I thought it was no, in Germany. No, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Well, Josh, you know where you need <laughs> to go. Yeah, I think you're right. Think the Philippines, where they got Spam trees, pal. Oh, oh, those are right. wonderful, yeah. Pluck it and just take the top right off. Yeah, mm, yeah. Fresh yeah. Black forest. But I'm not crazy. There's Black Forest ham, right? Right. Yeah. No, no, the ham you're, trees you're are right crazy. next to the pineapple ring trees. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Could we move on? Following a high speed. I'm not done with this. You have to count the rings to see how old it is. That's very funny. Let him go. <laughs> Following a high-speed chase across state lines, Oregon police have seized meth and invasive snails. A oh. 33-year-old Utah woman was initially pulled over in Fruitland, Idaho, but she fled the scene. <laughs> Fruitland. She uh, apparently reached speeds of 92 miles per hour on I-84 as she drove into Ontario, Wait. Oregon. Wait a minute. Where local authorities took over the pursuit. If she's going 92 miles an hour, she just, uh, she just passes up the snails, right? I don't understand. No, the snails well, are we, in the we car. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh. Police deployed spikes that did not stop the suspect. Her vehicle eventually got stuck, though, on some railroad tracks. Police said they found meth in plain view, several snails as well. What were those about? I the 33-year-old was charged with reckless driving. Wait. Oh, sorry. Attempt to elude a police officer, unlevel, unlawful possession. By the way, the, 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 sna the snails were quoted as saying, <laughs> we, 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 uh, what a weird crime. What are the transporting snails into the state of Oregon from Utah is illegal. It's apparently the European brown garden snail. Oh sure, which is primarily used for escargot. So maybe she was and, ready uh, to uh, make up some French cuisine hmm. when she got to Oregon. So the okay, so the snails weren't on meth. Well, no, Tom, that would I mean, be a stupid. Snail and meth, they just go inside their shell and clean all day. <laughs> 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 what a weird... Yeah. Weird story, yes. Okay, I so, agree. Um, but those snails were uh, invasive, I would imagine. Yes, that's why they're not allowed there. Oh, oh boy. 
Okay. Um, oh, thank you very much. Now, um, uh, Ace Cosby is sitting in a special chair. It's the it's the Ace Cosby um, Omaha Steaks uh, Joke of the Day chair. Mm -hmm. And um, I say Ace, I say right now we do this because uh, Omaha Steaks the best Father's Day gift ever. And uh, I'll tell you how to do that in just a second. But ladies, please. Bruce, that sexy man with a deep voice. Mm -hmm. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Well, we've been talking about chickens all morning. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think I'd, I'll add to that. Okay. What, do, what do chickens grow on? What I don't know. Chicken? Eggplants. <laughs> with uh, Ace Cosby, our engineer, of course. Chick McGee's across the way. How about you? This is Tom. That's uh, Josh over there again, back in the seat after a little vacation. Hello. Christy Lee, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Willie G is there. Patty G is in the other room working on some songs. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're going to uh, check in once again with Chick McGee at the sports desk. What, what did we miss over there? Chick? Dear Let's idiots. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> you guys missed totally the world's biggest chicken. We all know it's Foghorn Lake. Oh, <laughs> of course. He, stand, yes. he stands uh, three feet over that dog, you know. Easy. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Bobby Hall. Well, you were what, six? Bobby Hall. Oh. <laughs> Robert Hall. Yeah. You were a six-foot chicken, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You sure. portrayed... Foghorn Leghorn. Yes. The six Flags, is Famously. that correct? That's yes, exactly it was right. a part, Tom. Thank you for clearing that, <laughs> that up because exactly. I thought he turned into a six-foot chicken. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, Why are we actually, talking about big chickens? Uh, uh, we were talking about chickens for some reason. Oh, you know. said we have big chicken news, and Willie oh, and I asked you, yeah. what's, what's big who's chicken Who's the biggest source? chicken? And then I found somebody in Kosovo. Do you, want, do you want to do the big chicken story now? Um, um, break, break away from sports for just a second. Oh, I, I can't imagine how we could do that. The sports is a delicate <laughs> tapestry. <laughs> of, uh, different stories yeah. and sports and people, and I don't well, know how we could... Crews spent hours Thursday morning cleaning up a smelly mess in Union County, North Carolina, after a truck spilled chicken parts all over the road. Oh. About 3.30 a.m., police said a Valley Protein truck hauling chicken guts oh. was following a car that brakes suddenly, forcing the truck driver to also slam on his brakes to avoid a collision. WSOC-TV. News with a vision of television news, what a vision of television should be. Yeah. Very good. Reports that 5,000 pounds of chicken parts. Wow. The truck had been hauling, sloshed out of the trailer, oh. and onto Highway 74. That's over two tons. One lane was blocked off while crews cleaned up. The mess was cleaned, and the road was fully reopened before 9 a.m. Wow. Could have been worse. Could have been noon. Yeah. <laughs> Hot and smelly. Just and just and uh, 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 Mr. Pat Godwin, is there, is there a song? Sir? Sure. Puff it on a little grass, driving down the road. I got a truck full of clucking chickens. <laughs> it's quite a stinky load. Swerve to the left, hit the rail, and I can't blame it on the snow. It's Carolina, and I swear I wasn't on the phone. I was on the phone. Guts on the highway, <laughs> crashed and lost my load. Chicken parts all over the road. I'm losing my license. <laughs> I know. Here we go, kids. Cause there's breasts and wings flying through the air. <laughs> Blue attire, don't have a spare. The front grill will need repair. And there's chicken gizzards. I know, Chuck. Uh, beautiful they tribute. They don't Very buck. nice. What? They don't buck. They balk. They balk. They buck. Look it up. Cluck. No, you're saying buck like Joe Buck. Buck, yeah. You're saying buck like Sebastian Bach. I'm saying he, balk I, like he... You look like at any, any quality cartoon, <laughs> if a chicken's talking, you'll see B-A-W-K. You buck, won't buck, see B-U-C-K. I say buck. I know. Well, you're, you've heard it. Couldn't right. be more wrong. So you're saying, Josh, the buck... 
stops here. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> made him do it again. <laughs> made him do it again. Dance. Dance. I enjoyed it very much the first time. Uh, I've always been more of a bucker. Yeah, yeah. Also. Oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> My mother was a bucker. <laughs> My father was a bucker. What, what um, is Tom going to mention when he talks about buckers? What does he mean? What is, what facial feature I know. does he talk about when he uses the term buckers? I know. Mm -hmm. Josh, you have a guess. I do, yeah. You want me to say it? Yeah. Uh, teeth. Yeah, buck That's teeth. right. He's thinking teeth. about teeth. Yeah. Yes. That's right, teeth. Uh, right, right, yeah. I was just watching a, uh, a TV commercial buckers, where huh? a woman came out and, woo, what a pair of buckers. Wow. <laughs> They could be really cute. Surprised she could close her lips. Buck teeth are cute. <laughs> they can be really cute. Yeah, they can. Mm. Yeah, that's not that's nice. Well, let's let's get the final word on, they, uh, on chickens. Once again, the uh, <laughs> yeah, in winter. this case, this uh, three thirty in the morning, they have a truck full of uh, chicken parts, tons of uh, chicken parts, chicken that, guts. That, can you imagine if you how slippery that would be? It's so slippery, how smelly it would be. Ugh. Oh yeah, on their way to becoming nuggets, and they never made it. Mm. Kind of sad, really. Mm. Now we know why chickens don't cross the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't apparently make it to the other side. There's a picture of this mess on the road. Somebody has to Photoshop two chickens. Yeah. That's why we don't cross the road. <laughs> That's, yeah, so uh, that's a meme. That's the funniest meme of the year. The uh, so yeah. let's determine if it's Bach. How do you say Bach? It's Bach, yeah. Or, or Bach. Buck. There's it's only one way to find out. Son of a... A chicken farmer went out one dark and windy day. By the croup he rested as he went along his way. But all at once a rotten egg hit him in the eye. It was the sight he dreaded. Ghost chickens in the sky. <laughs> The farmer had raised chickens since he was 24 Working for the colonel for 30 years or more Killing all those chickens and sending them to fry Now they want revenge Ghost chickens in the sky Everybody Buck, buck, It's buck Each were black and shiny, their eyes were burning red They had no meat or feathers, these chickens were dead They picked the farmer up he died by the claw. They cooked him extra crispy <laughs> and ate him with coleslaw. Inspired silliness. Uh, I like ghost it. chickens in the sky. Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's over. All right. He said, <laughs> he said Buck. No. Do we not solve it? I'm putting it up on Twitter. Okay. Oh, nice poll. Okay. Yes. <laughs> A photographer has been making art with brood 10 cicadas. Is that right? Ms. Oxana Ware of Virginia creates small-scale art installations with cicadas using dollhouse-sized no, items. Oh, no. <laughs> she poses the cicadas in scenes, so it appears they are competing in the Olympics. Hilarious. <laughs> or performing in a jam band. <laughs> Ms. Ware, the 39-year-old, said, We started with my son's fire truck, and that was just a big hit. Oh, what a hoot. Yeah. <laughs> Having immigrated from Russia, Ware even created an image of a cicada crawling up the facade of St. Uh, Basil's Cathedral, the most aromatic yes. of all the cathedrals. Now, <laughs> when, I, when I first read this, mm, fresh basil. I assumed mm. that the cicadas were dead. I was wrong. What? They're alive. How what? do they keep them in the yeah, picture? See, look, Christy, you yes, can see the I... video here. She's got them uh, I'm not one in the kill. Olympics. Yeah. Uh, I she does. Uh, and, oh, they're so disgusting. Um, Cicadas are illegal in Russia. <laughs> in I this one, smuggle them over the border. In this one, my husband's still alive. <laughs> He prefers cicadas over conventional food. I mean, think about it. These cicadas, they've waited 17 years to have in intimate relations with their mm. lady cicadas. Mm. And mm. I would wait. They've seven. got three days of life, and here they're being <laughs> glued to a little tiny <laughs> stage by some Oh, lady. gosh. Um, oh, well. Have I you, have lost my mind. Have you stepped on, have you stepped on one yet? Oh, no. Yeah, sure. Boy, it's a mess. 
Oh, it was not just the shell. It was like the actual cicada. Oh, it's a mess. Yeah, they're, up, oh. they're up in the trees getting ready to uh, do their thing. Chicken follow-up. When you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking, <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for super chicken. But if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. He will drink the sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kicking. I never saw this. There was one super thing chicken? you should learn when there was no one oh, else amazing. to do. Call for super chicken. Call for super chicken. Did he speak like a human being? Sure he did. Yeah, he did. Now, um, uh, just uh, before we... Uh, His catchphrase was, I know it was a dangerous job when I took it. Ah. Uh, the cicada art... I'm looking at this. Yes. Um, I, 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 again, they're live cicadas that are they're in punk rock bands and they're <laughs> that is silly. And they're, right? they're they're playing in the Olympics. Um, I, I assume that then she lets them go and so they can go do their thing. I, I bet she so, doesn't. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, you think she just crushes them? Well, then, well, then that kind of part, then they'd be Jackson Pollock. They don't live very long, right? Like a like a day, like a couple days, uh, several days. Okay. And then uh, they the the males are the ones doing the the chirping. The yes. Same. Hmm. And they don't do it at night. Trying to for attract the most the part, they do it almost exclusively during the day. They're oh. loudest loudest in the late afternoon. So they like the afternoon delight, huh? Yeah, well, the, the the males are trying to attract the females. Well, I know. Do you think they attract them and then they do it overnight when they're quiet? <laughs> no, that, that, that I don't oh. know. If there's a lot of night night humping, if you will. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have audio the, of cicadas. Then the eggs drop. Nine. We have audio of the uh, of the cicadas having sex. We sure do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, like that. oh yeah. Oh, that's disturbing, oh, isn't it? Oh. Spread those wings, baby. That feels good. Happy. <laughs> All right. Uh, smack that wing. We have a cicada story coming up. Okay, too. good. Another Anything to change the subject. Yes. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, more music yeah, coming up. We have a we have a, a Vaseline tribute coming up, and more. Oh, I can only once imagine. Again, once again, a uh, well, uh, Christy, I'm sure you're upset about this. There's a a, a, a huge uh, fake Vaseline. Why am I upset about it? I don't even own any Vaseline. Oh, she's ready to go. Girls, huh? I thought all girls had Vaseline Isn't this to the, uh, moisturize no. their. Did, didn't uh, Doris Day famously coat her body head to toe in Vaseline? I thought right? it was the camera lens to, to soften <laughs> the focus. A lot of people, I well, okay, yeah, I do use do a different that. product called yeah. Aquaphor, but yes, I know older women who've used um, Vaseline on their face at night because they swore by it. But mm -hmm. no, I thought you used butt for. But for What's what? But for. Pooping silly. <laughs> that's, I mean, that is so silly. It's just like a headway, right? <laughs> that's, that's just as, if not better, than any Joe Case has ever told. I mean, that's a playground joke, a summer camp joke, a killer. It's in the butt. <laughs> That'll yeah, crack a cabin up. Sorry. Uh, was... I'm not going to go into the reasons why you shouldn't use Vaseline in certain areas, but you Well, you shouldn't use it on condoms. It no, it, it eats, eats it away. away. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's gasoline. It's yes. gas. So, the kids, right. just go condom jelly. free. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let it ride, baby. Aren't condoms only like 9% effective anyway? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, I, that's not true. That is not true. <laughs> I think about uh, Okay. You know what always works is the, uh, the rhythm method. Keep track of your gals, period. Mm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. You know what they call people who use the rhythm method? Huh. <laughs> Parents. Parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank or Catholic. Thank you very much. Christy Lee is over there, but we're not talking to her anymore. We're talking to Chick <laughs> McGee at the sports desk. It's time for today in sports history. Yay. Favorite segment. See, there's one who likes it. One out of millions. <laughs> On this day in sports history in 1933, FDR yes. authorized... Not the, the best athlete. <laughs> Okay, come on. I mean, okay. well, yeah, just, they just roll a special He was story. good at this. He authorized the first swimming pool built inside the White House. Oh, no. oh he, he did. Okay. He did. And am I correct in saying, didn't that get... Filled in? Didn't that get filled in for a bowling, bowling alley? I think Nixon put a bowling Nixon. alley. Yeah. FDR wanted it so he could play water polio. Oh, oh, that's, I mean, that's a fine piece of business. Oh, yeah, that is, I, I enjoyed it, but I'm going to hell. I mean, so we're doing, they're doing the, the, uh, the unfortunate disease joke. You know, my father had polio. Was yes. in a wheelchair. Yeah, no. yeah, I'll, have yeah. to, if I'll summon him from the dead. I spend time with you, I tell you oh, that. that's going. Hey, in 1935, on this day, future baseball is up on the big screen in our room. She's calling from elsewhere in the universe. It's the lovely Allie Breen. Allie, where are you? I'm actually at um, everyone's favorite place. I'm at Fox Studios. I'm taping something today with them. Wait a oh, second. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it was she yeah. cut out there. I didn't hear what she She's said. in uh, Fox Studios. Fox Studios. So she's uh, going to be taping something a uh, little coming up. 
Okay, because yeah. oh, you've got uh, you've got kind of that Marilyn Monroe thing going. Yeah, they really the whole makeup thing here. It's a lot. <laughs> you look great, red yeah. lips, or red lips. Yeah, and the light. I don't know. I have white hair right now. I'm kind of blending into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look great. Okay, we're having a little bit of trouble hearing you, but uh, can you? Why don't you read us our first letter? We'll see if we could figure out what's happening. Dear Allie, my last relationship was six years long. Then my boyfriend said his feelings changed out of nowhere. I cried to my best friends for months. I, I cried to my best friend for months about it. Finally, started healing, and then just found out that they have been hooking up. Oh, oh God! All right, this is so. He helped me get over. Basically, talking tons of trash about how much of a jerk he was and how I deserve so much better. What do I do? Call and tell him what a hypocrite she is, and what do I do about her? You need to dump both of them uh, and just move on. I think that sounds right. Uh, yeah. Eliminate both of these people from your God, life. God, you can't. And be we mean that. eliminate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can't do it yourself, uh, have it done. higher. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're going to want to go rifle. Twenty to yeah. thirty. Oh, are unreliable. Yeah. yeah. Real public. She's not your best friend. Let no. me just tell you that. Maybe That's find comfort in her ex-boyfriend or brother. Oh, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see Classic, uh, it's not a game. Maybe he's attractive and she always just kept him off limits because she thought Classic. that was sick for the rules. <laughs> you know what? We'll do it dad. No Why not? No. What's yeah. the old hitman dad, joke, yes. Tom? Uh, give me five minutes. I can get both for $10,000. <laughs> And that's the one they're on, I think on the golf course or something. Oh, something like yeah, that. Yeah, and then they hook up. And, yeah, they hook yeah, up. And get two I agree with all. See, they're having sex. And, yeah. Listen, all of his friends. Oh, okay. That would really yeah. That's no, no, right, no. Allie. No, don't play, yep. don't play their game. Just no, move, don't move play on. it. Move on. Move on. Yeah. You're, you're move better on than them. Into those boys' beds. Yeah. <laughs> all all says to it. sleep with all, all the friends. You'll show them all. That's <laughs> <laughs> the summer of the pals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a pal. All right. And then publish some pictures. Mm. Yeah. Photoshop's an amazing thing. Oh, my God. Oh. That's a, that's that a monkey with him? Man, breakups are a good diet sometimes. Where'd that come from? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You raise a true point. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't know why you're breaking up so bad, Allie. Do they have crappy Wi-Fi there? Um, probably in the green room. It's a little weird. There's a, yeah, there's not a great signal right here. Tell him you want the Hannity Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Read another one, please. Dear Allie, I told a girl I met on Tinder that we were exclusive, but I've been dating from the site. I matched with one of her friends and we've been talking and she's jokingly threatening to tell her. Do I come clean or do I just wait for this to blow up in my face? What a jerk. <laughs> What? What is this jerk day on? <laughs> yeah. Come on. You can't tell somebody you're exclusive and then keep dating. That's ugh. sounds like you're a liar. Yeah. Um, and I hope you get found out. That's all. Yeah. That's all. This seems like the same letter. It almost does. Or you could have sex with everybody on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do that. that makes just as much sense. Have at it. Yeah. Oof. Just an F fest. <laughs> ah, the old F fest. I thought it was fire fest, but apparently is that a is that like a Tinder? But <laughs> I know they got one. Isn't there one called Just Lunch? Yeah, there was yes, at least. There was. Is, is there just know. sex? That's Tinder. <laughs> That's Tinder. Oh, mine was just leaving. <laughs> but, but it was worth the wait, Pat. Oh yeah. Tinder doesn't have a have a, have their own song, do they, Tom? A return to Tinder. <laughs> yeah. I'll address the note. That's right. After everybody. <laughs> Doing a goat. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. Doing a goat, huh? Some, some hill jack. <laughs> Great, greatest of all time, you mean. I'm sorry. Uh, Allie, try, try reading one more. We're still we can still kind of hear you. Okay, perfect. Dear Allie, I'm a 30-year-old single guy who is also a virgin. I was wondering if being a virgin is considered positive with my age among women or a negative, and what other guys think about it. P.S. <sighs> a nerd or an uggo, the reason I'm a virgin is because I prefer a physical relationship. I prefer oh, not having a physical relationship over having a more emotional connection, which I have yet to make. I see. Yep, sounds okay. like an uggo to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said he's not a nerd or an uggo. No. I think we should take I know his... that. That's why I said it, I Josh. I know. I'm just saying we should probably take his word for it. Christy, your thoughts on the virginity? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hot. To you know, okay. So in your yeah, opinion, this is a I mean, plus. No quite. pressure. The first one she, uh, the first one he experiences is okay. Ali, you say a lot of pressure. 
I think it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, and that, that age, you start to think, and I hate to say it, but you start to be like, what, is something wrong? What okay. happened that happened until 30 years Alsman, old? who do you think should be murdered? Oh, I don't think, you know what, I think this is, he, the ball's in his court, and like, I think yeah, a no, woman. They've they been in his process long enough. Yeah. Yes. Get him out in the court. But a lot of women probably like, oh yeah, I'll show you the ropes. They'd probably want to be, they want to break him. Okay. Well, I seriously, if he wants to be emotionally involved with someone, that means if they get to that point, they're going to be in love. That would be a really romantic, cool thing, yeah. I think. Dear, you this? need a raincoat. <laughs> that's, that's to his future. Yeah, yeah you're gonna, you're, yeah. you're gonna need a helmet. Dear, buy her goggles. Yeah, uh, I, I would say, I would say, move, move to Utah where you're not such a rarity. Oh, there, that's that's an that's idea. Good, good idea. That's better than born again. And born again virgin, I think that's a weird. That seems like you've done a lot of bad stuff in the past, and you've cleansed. Wait, I don't know how many. Wait, wait a minute, time wait a out. second. You What's can't a, be a what born a, again virgin? We have never heard that Is before. That what, what? I think born the uh, born again virgin, like they wipe out all of their past sexual. Right, you know? but it's technically but not. But technically, possible. you're not yeah, a virgin. It's, uh, that's I knew not there, there are places, uh, this is true, you're going to laugh. <laughs> there are uh, there are surgeons that can uh, do hymen reconstruction. Well, that's true. What do they do? Just take old calamari? <laughs> <laughs> I repair any hymen oh. for $29.95. Okay, I have never heard this term. If you were dating someone yes. and they said, I'm a born-again virgin, what would you say to I them? I would go, well, be a slut again, please. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> I, I, let me date the old slut. I don't want the new virgin. Because this meal was very expensive. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I took you to sushi, for God's sake. <laughs> I, that, I'm, I learned something today. I did not know that was a thing. It's a, a, a fraudulent. Yes. Well, maybe if you go years without... Yeah, doing it, you kind of become... A, that's that's you know. the equivalent of, uh, oh. of taking a uh, car with 200,000 miles and turning the odometer back. Exactly. <laughs> You're exactly right. Tom, yes. you know for a fact every now and then it'll grow back together. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. Well... <laughs> that's true! That is well, true. <laughs> Jed, I, Jed, I can't argue with you. Thank you very much. I'll never right. forget uh, one time yeah, it was right. like, a, like I got pulled a 12-year-old Big Mac out of the front <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that is some crusty cracked cheese. Oh, I did not need that. Yeah. Oh. Hold it around. Oh, okay. Well, we did a lot of good work. All right. Uh, and you may you may smell something. Uh, Ace. What? Is that the smell? Of, what? Is that Box, the, is boxers again? Is that the snow? It's the smell of steaks. Did he because, show? Oh, uh, no, oh Ace, he Ace is sitting <laughs> at the Omaha Steaks Ace Cosby Joke of the Day desk. Do you know what we've never done? What? We've never started the show with an Ace Cosby Joke of the Day. Who's that? Oh, my gosh. With a deep voice. Mm. Ace Cosby. Perfect. Here he is. So exciting. <laughs> Not so much a joke. The other week, Josh asked me what my fiance did for a living. Uh -huh. I said, it's, well, it's hard to say. Sea sales, sea sales by the seashore. <laughs> that, hard. that is hard to say. That, that is hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, yeah. For anyone, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, and he now. proved it. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.